Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, there's a little blue circle thing whizzing round, so hopefully. Good afternoon. <laughs> Let's try again. Good afternoon, everybody. It says we're live, so I'm hoping we are because there was a little blue circle thing just running around in circles. <laughs> so hopefully, we are live on this glorious Saturday afternoon. And I'm in my craft room doing this lovely demo for everybody. Uh, oh yeah, we're live. Good afternoon. Did, did you like what I called the new Saturday? Saturday Crafter Day with Phil. <laughs> I liked that. I just thought it rolled off the tongue quite nicely. Hi everyone. Hi Angie. I just saw your message in the group. So yes, you've got lots of space. Uh, lots of space now to buy the new stamps. You've got. I can see how much storage you've got. So you've got no excuses so good afternoon everybody hopefully you managed to catch some of the shows and you enjoyed the three demos that i think i ended up doing <laughs> three demos but as ever i always try and do the demos from start to finish for you showing you all the different little elements um because because there's no point me turning up there with everything half done and you only seeing a bit of a job so i wanted you to see everything that we were doing that i was doing um it was very strange it was lovely to be back in the studio it was a bit weird being on the other side of the studio but at least at least we were there and it was nice to be back and nice to see everybody from a distance as the song says right so hopefully you enjoyed the shows i thoroughly enjoyed it i was knackered yesterday as i always am after i've done a one day special even though it was only three hours it was actually six hours of driving for me, so my eyes were a bit tired by the time I got back. Anyway, so as ever, I planned two demos per show, and as always, I got one done. So this is one that I'd actually got prepped for the show, so I thought, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to waste it because it's too nice to waste. So I thought, let's um, let's demo this on the on the Facebook Live, and then I can show you all the different elements from this. So, uh, if Julia's watching, she'll tell you, when I originally made this card, I sent her the photo, and I said I regret colouring this back layer, so I've left I've left this one plain, I'll show you in a second. So we're going to concentrate on, obviously, the new stamps, and I'll whiz through them for you in a second, just so you can see, um, see them properly, because I know you don't always get a chance to on the TV. So we'll whiz through the new stamps, and you can see this lovely background I've done here with Trudy's gorgeous lily stamp. We're going to do the sunflowers today. So for some reason, I can't see all your comments. Uh, so let me just let me just see if I can fix that. I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. So good afternoon to everybody who I've not said it to already. Um, there was no man bun. Yeah, Trudy, but did you see my kiss curls at the back? <laughs> yes, I think the next time I am there in a month's time, it will be a pigtails or it will be a ponytail. So, if it's long enough, I'll do it and I'll show you. That'll give us all a good laugh, won't it? Right, so this card here, just, just before I move on and show you the stamps again. Uh, this is the from the first set of Bright cardstock, the Funky Brights, the Fabulous Fuchsia, which is that one. It's, I hope Hopefully you can see that it's Fuchsia because the light's in here. I've, well, I've got four lights in front above me. And then I've used the Totally Turquoise there. Good afternoon, Penny. Hiya, Benita. You are a darling. <laughs> Very patient. Uh, so this is the Fabulous Fuchsia and the Totally Turquoise cardstock. The one that I've got prepped already, which is the one that I would have done on my shows, is the... I love this colour. I'm really into this orange. The Mandarin Burst. So Mandarin Burst and Fabulous Fuchsia again, because you can't really go wrong. If you're scared of bright colours... Um, can you imagine, Jessica, me turning up to TV? Did my hair look all right, Julia? It, I'll tell you what, you won't believe how much stuff I had in it to keep it down. Uh, I had to keep the sunroof shut on the car because it was blowing it everywhere. You know, like Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> uh, right, so what I was saying to... I can't remember who it was I was talking to. I was talking to somebody about bright colours. And I think sometimes we're put off by, by the brightness, especially like orange and yellow. But you know if you tone it down with white in between it actually looks really classy really elegant hi elaine i'm missing you darling um 
so so I think that's the way to balance your cars. I mean, so somebody like Leone who's not scared of colour, she'd just go for it. And and I like my colours, but I like to I like it to be balanced. So what I've got here is just a one, two, three, four, five, five layers. <laughs> Uh, these three have been cut with the rounded corner double deboss squares and the bottom two because they're bigger I've just chopped with the guillotine right okay so that's where we're at I'm going to whiz through the stamps let me just scroll down again I don't know why this is so slow is anybody else having internet trouble yeah I I'm not sure anyway so let's go through the stamps for you so this is my working set I've got a clean set as well as you would expect so the one day special um, was for six of the stamp sets and gold I can't remember what they were but there are there are more than six so let's just put them in order one two three four five six so this would have been the one day special so I'll go through that with you first so the relatives and I gave you a little sneaky peek last week but while I've got this time with you it's nice for me to be able to show you everything in a little bit more detail so you've got all the relatives in there everything I could absolutely cram in that set literally no space I've tried to get everything in. I'm just move that light up a bit there we go uh, I've crammed everything in that I thought that we would use the most so you've got the relatives then you've got the essentials which is your happy birthday you just for you blah 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 sorry I forgot which is a good one for me because I'm rubbish at remembering birthdays I Roz Hi everyone I've not seen or spoken to already. So that's your essential set, the one that you're going to use day in, day out. Motivationals. So this is your chase, your rainbows, live your best life. These are really good for your journals or for your funky style cards. Yeah, absolutely packed. Then you've got the acclamations. So acclamations just it's just describing words basically. So you've got to our uh, and my our dear the I've tried to get everything in there so you can then say to an amazing whatever to a wonderful to a dazzling cutie pie is obviously for me <laughs> then you've got the occasionals so occasionals is the one with the anniversary uh, feel better soon graduation civil partnership and so on and so forth loads in that and the adorations which was Leone's favorite so I think you could mix and match this so that in my head this was what I had in in my mind so like here you can you can see that love is uh, grandma and granddad so on and, and you just you can just go on forever and ever with those so that was the one day special and the extras because I was very aware that we do like to put 21 18 65 and all that on everything uh, just remember mine and Leone's next year is 40 it's not really look you can see my ring again oh, 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 oh. I'm going to move across because you don't need to see that on a Saturday. Um, so you've got the numbers there in, in two different sizes with the ordinals and the today. And then you've got the alphabet which has got 120 stamps in this set. So two uppercase, two lowercase for every letter. You've got the symbols and then you've got a, a small set of numbers. So the whole set really does cover absolutely everything. <coughs> I'm choking already. There won't be any more ticket tape, tastic stamps. Oh, I've got my coffee lot. Unless I do a set of. <laughs> I know, Josephine, you're right, darling. Unless I do a set for Christmas, which I might do. But it depends what time we've got left. Right, I need to scroll down. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Where are we? Scroll, scroll, scroll. That's it. We're cooking on gas now. So we're going to start from the top of this card. And we're going to do the little topper part first. So I've made this a little bit smaller to make sure that we've got white space in the card. Yeah, we are going to do something different to the white space on the uh, the one I'm making today. But I'm going to start with this. So I've got my little bits already cut out. So this is just from the D double debossed rectangle set. I need a sheet of paper because you know I don't do messy, not just for the sake of it. And we're going to use one of Trudy's flower stamps. So I'm pretty sure you've probably seen these all already. You might not have, you might not remember these. Um, these are Trudy's stitching borders that we released with the Fashionistas 
if you haven't got these it's a really 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 useful set of stamps to have even if you don't use them with the fashionistas you can use well you saw the card that i made with the stitching borders there just the stitches so worth treating yourself to them if you haven't got them and then you've got the daisies you've got the star flower you've got the anemones pointy pretties some choice some flowers which is what i'm going to use today and the lovely lilies the lilies is the one that i used on the original card look yeah but i'm going to do some flowers today because again let me put, turn the phone off. so we're going to stamp the image first we're doing this kind of back to front see what you're saying to me can't get ho chan do i shell you can go on my website darling honeypotcrafts.co.uk how about that for a blatant plug um uh, why can't you get ho chan can you can you watch it on your ipad where are you shell where are you right so stamping platform thing stamp perfect they're all the same to me just different brands i'm going to get a sheet of paper because i don't want to make any more mess than i need to we'll just pop that in place so i'm still going to do the bottom right corner for the stamp for the stamp here now the sunflowers are amazing oh you can see why i've not cleaned them I told you it was my working set um, so the sunflowers are amazing and look at all the extras you're getting here so if you're somebody who likes to do your journaling or scrapbook pages or you like to do backgrounds and things these are going to be so so useful yeah peel that off and I'm just gonna angle that a little bit so we get a big flower this is the beauty of the platforms look I can put that exactly where I want it. Now I don't want to cover the whole thing. No, I needs to be straight. There we go. I'll do nicely. I quite like my Saturdays with you. I think I'm going to stick to Saturday craft today. Saturday craft today. And now we're going to ink that up with um, Onyx Black Versify. <laughs> my naughty laugh. <laughs> Oh, it was really strange though because normally as you know when me and Leone are working together it's chaos but because we were we were apart it was it was harder to shout and the innuendos were harder so let's get these sunflowers stamped so although I am creating a background over this I am stamping my flowers first yeah so let's just get that pressed And you'll see why in a second. Let's just see if I've covered it all. I'm just going to give it another press there. Oh, that's just fabulous. I mean, look how amazing that is. That's, uh, Trudy is just too good. She's too good. So I'll leave that there for a minute. Uh, before I forget to tell you... Trudy's next release I can't tell you what it is yet I can tell you it's amazing Trudy's next release is on the eight, uh, next one day special with Julia is on the uh, is it the 18th of June 18th of June Julia I think it is so start saving up for that because it's fabulous we're just going to give this a quick blast Afternoon Heather, Tanner, you're not that late, I've not really done much. Thanks Dory, that's the right way to do it darling, order it from the website instead. I know I didn't clean it Lorraine, I know, but in my defence, you know I have two sets of stamps. I have a working set of stamps which are the ones that never get cleaned properly. And then I have my, um, my my new set, my clean set that I just like to look at. Normally I have the new one, the new one to show you so that it's nice and clean. But I forgot. Right, so we're going to start adding some colour onto this now. And I've got my card pumpkin, but I haven't got my picked raspberry. Hang on a sec. I'm going to the other side of the room.
they weren't that far actually they are Jessica I've got to agree with you thanks Julia definitely the 18th of June for the next release right so we've now got the two colors here that we're going to use so I've chosen oh look at that that's one of my new labels it's covered in green ink uh, that's gonna to have to come off what's the other one like the other one's all right that's coming off I'm having a new label right so carved pumpkin I think is a better orange to go with the mandarin burst than the um, what's the other one dried marigold there's another one what's the other orange oh, I forgot but carved pumpkin is the one that I like best so this is why I stamped the image first I'm, I'm going to try and loosely avoid where I'm going to colour in but it doesn't matter if I go over it so we're just going to do random again and I am going to pat I'm into my patting at the minute rather than rather than um, rather than swirling round I forgot what we decided to call it last week so let's just get some orange on there yeah so this is why I like to do the patting instead so we've, we've already got you know normally where we try to Sam Thompson you don't give us a chance to save I know I'm sorry Sam I'm sorry, give a bank balance a chance. <laughs> sorry. Do you know what it is? Spice marmalade, that's it, Julia. I knew there was another orange. Carved pumpkin is the one to go for. If you bought the if you bought the bright card stock, it's carved pumpkin distress oxide you need, trust me. Uh, so we've already got some shading going on. Normally we would try and get that absolutely smooth, but for this kind of background technique it, it works really well. And we're gonna go in with some picked raspberry don't worry about the overlapping because it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you go into the flowers a little bit all I'm doing is just trying to avoid doing too much color on too much color on it it just saves masking who's got time to keep masking forever so we've got that going on there missed a bit there there we go I mean already that looks quite nice just with those two colors a bright orange and a bright pink looks fab together yep so I'm gonna leave those there because I will be using them again in a second so I'm just gonna give that a quick uh, brush over so remember if you saw the shows you will have seen me do this because I know that that's gonna stay it's gonna stay wet for a little bit spice marmalade works too does it it's just a bit softer isn't it um, but so instead of instead of blasting that I'm going to rub it and I think this just softens the colour down a little bit and blends it for you see how much ink comes off just by doing that so this is taking the excess ink off and it's blending it as well it's just one sheet does plenty as well so they say doesn't for me this is this is I take one of the I take the obviously I take the big one <laughs> that's the one I take to Chanda. right so we've got that going on there and what we're going to do now is um, color in the images so I need to, I really need to tell you on I've got set two I think we've got three packs left so now is the time to do it if you haven't got set two so we're going to take that pink we're going to take the bright pink we're going to take the luminous orange and we're going to take the next orange and then I'm going to have a little bit of the olive green because that's my favourite and I love these sunflowers so let's just take that away because you don't need that I don't need that for the minute let me have a drink of my coffee and see what you're saying to me hang on a sec hi Lozzie hi Christina something that doesn't matter I know only the big one for me obviously <laughs> 18th of June that's right hi Sue hi everyone I've not spoken to already oh right so I'm just have a drink of this mm -mm. Mm -mm. right so I'm going straight in with the colour I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing for this. Hi Emma! So I'm literally just going to add some of this. I mean look at this orange, it's beautiful. 
one of the advantages of this is I don't need to worry about it being particularly neat because the style when we've finished is meant to be a little bit grungy I don't know if it's shabby grungy whichever you want to call it so I'm literally just putting a little bit of the orange at the bottom of each petal here we go sorry you'll lose me when I'm colouring and I'm going to put a little bit of the darker orange as well I'm going to do it all in one go because it's easier So you can use these pens quickly and then we're going to colour that in so water brush is good to go and literally all I'm going to do is just pick the colour out and bring it out and then I'm going to do one flower at a time because where the where the water brush is still damp I'm going to do the tips of the the tips of the petals in the pink I will bring this in and show you in a second but I just need to do one flower at a time and then we're going to add some of this bright pink to the tip so while that's still wet we'll just bring a little bit of the pink to the tip I can't see what you're saying at the minute because I'm looking at this but I will look in a minute Anyway, Trudy, I hope you've I hope you've stopped watching and carried on working. There we go. And then we'll just bring that in from the other direction. You can see I got fed up of doing that. <clears throat> so what we've got now look is little pink tips yeah and then we've got the two different shades of orange coming through so I'm just going to quickly whiz through and do the same with the other flowers so just bear with me a second there's quite a bit more to do to this card so I think it's going to end up being another more than an hour job but I'll try my best Told you I'm not worrying about the lines because it doesn't it doesn't actually matter if I come out of the lines. In fact, I quite like it. Oh, that's just beautiful. Hey, while I'm thinking about it, if anybody sees any delphiniums online, let me know where I can get some from. I want them in pots. I don't want. I don't want little baby plants I want proper ones that I can just shove in the garden in a pot so let me let me know I've, I've googled and googled till I got fed up of it <laughs> Bit of there we go and then a little bit of pink So what we've created now from these sunflowers is a bit like a, a fantasy sunflower where we've got pinks and oranges going on but it actually looks really really fab. So I'll just let you see that and then I'm going to do the middles. Can you see we've got the different shades? I don't know what you can see with these lights. Sorry everybody if you can't. Oh there you go. So you can see we've got two or three different shades of orange going on then we've got the pink at the end yeah and we're going to do pink on here so I'm just going straight in with the pink on here because then that follows on the suit of the pink orange pink orange and then we'll have the bright orange for the middles I'm not worrying about it being neat because I am going to brush all over it. Oops. Oh well, that one's, that one's orange now. 
<clears throat> and then I'm going to choose the darker pink, which is almost like a mauve. And I'm going to do a little bit mauve, mauve, whatever you call it. Depends where you come from. So I'm just doing a little bit on one side, look. And then I'm going to brush all over all of it. So that has now done all the shading bit for me. I might add a little bit more orange to them. Hang on. Sorry, you know where I'm like when I'm colouring. That's it. So now that's shaded for me already. Yeah, so we've got a little bit darker on the left than we have on the right. It's alright. Jane will let you off just this once. <laughs> You've got, blue, oh, I love blue delphiniums, Margaret. Send me some. Send me some, even if I have to prim in my bones. Uh, right, so now the olive green. So for the for the, the, the stalks are really, really easy, look. So I'm just doing one line up the side. And I'm going to do half of it, half of the leaf, and then where the vein is. Do the same there so I've gone straight in with the pen and then we'll bleed that out just make sure you wipe the orange off your water brush because I've done that before a lot and then we'll just bleed that colour out Uh, right, everybody who's won cars from the last three weeks, <laughs> or two weeks, whatever it was, I've got them all signed at the shop, but there's nobody in the shop to post them, so we'll post them next week when we're back in. That's it. So now we've got the the leaves done yet. Delphinia, Sam Thompson, your flowers. Are, oh, I've looked at Amazon, but the, I think they're little... They call them plug plants. They're just like, uh, true, true. Just stop popping in. Keep drawing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, what I want is a is a seven and a half or a, sorry, this is digressing. Seven and a half or a ten leaves to pot with filled with delphiniums. There we go. So the leaves have already just blended themselves. I'm going to give that a quick blast before we start adding the rest. now is we're going to go in with one of the uh, background stamps and we're also going to add some of Trudy's stencil to this as well so although this is a little topper you can get so much so much um, texture in this little this little topper I told you I'm, I sound like Julia now when I say this all about the layers but I suppose that's what it is when you're doing this kind of thing so I'm going to put the background stamp on first and because this is a smaller area I'm going to choose one of the smaller pattern stamps. I'm going to go back. I'm going to use the crackle. So the super fine crackle. And normally when you're at this stage, you would choose the least dominant colour to do your stamping so that it balances it out. And I think that the pink, although there's a lot of it, I think it's the least dominant colour on here. So we're just going to do some random pink around the edge. Just by hand, I'm going to go over the flower, not covering it, I'm just adding some texture to this. Oops, yeah that'll do. Look, can you see the difference if I tilt it this way, can you see it better? Yeah, we just add, a, it's, I told you it's a really really fine crackle, yeah? So while we've got that on there, and whilst I've got some ink left on the sponge, we're going to choose one of Trudy's stencils to add a little bit more texture. 
Uh, not the pebbles, that one won't go with this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Decisions, decisions. We'll go with the, we'll go with this one. So the ink that's already on my smoothie. I'm just gonna before I forget, I keep I forget to tell you this every time. So I mean, you've known me for years. You know that I did this stamping mat um, in a previous life, yeah. In a previous life with the previous company. Uh, I I know we've got some, but I don't know whether you can get it anymore. But you know, if you haven't got a stamping mat, please, please, please treat yourself to one, whether it's the A3 one or whether it's the little 9x9, nine because nine, I cannot work now. I've got about seven. I've just got them all stashed away because I can't work now without it. I find when I'm doing my... You know when you work on a glass mat, sometimes it's too hard? Um, can't believe I'm complaining about something being too hard, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, I, I find it easier to work on on my stamping mat so just get yourself one if you haven't got one right so I'm going back to my paper we're going in with true distension and I'm going to add a little bit more texture to this just take off the excess because I really just need a tiny tiny bit of ink to do this yeah and I'm just going to pat through again The two tone, let's do a bit of two tone, and then we'll do a bit down the bottom. And then a little bit of the orange. Oh look at that. Do you see what I mean? It just it just adds something to it, and because I did the crackle first, sorry Jessica. <laughs> I try not to be naughty. It's Saturday; we're allowed to be naughty. Oh, that's my sister apologising to you all on my behalf. <laughs> right, so now we've got some texture going on there. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back in with the super fine crackle. I'm just going to clean the, I'm just going to clean the uh, ink off that. Where's my wipe? That'll do. And we're going to add a little bit of black crackle to this. Oops, no, oh, bugger, look at that. All my friends can't believe that I managed to do an hour on TV without swearing. Naughty step, I think. Yeah, with yeah, with the rest of you. <laughs> oh, Rose, darling, you are funny. You're used to it. You've been to my classes. <laughs> right. So let's just get a little bit of this super fine crackle. So, little tip for you: <coughs> if you if you haven't got the super fine crackle, or if you're getting it and it's the first time you use it, um, remember it does have. Although it's a crackle and it's random look, yeah. It will have a straight edge. Let me try and show you. Like that look. Yeah. So we don't want that when we're doing this. So come come a little bit further down the stamp when you're doing this. And I'm going to do it first generation because it is black that I want. And I'm just going to add some little bits. Yeah. Just to bring just to bring it together a bit. Because we've got black stamping on the sunflower. You know what, I'll stop. I'll stop there. Stop, stop, Phil. Stop. So because we've got black stamping on the sunflower, the little bit of black stamping actually just brings it all together. I'm going to give that a quick blast once I've cleaned this stamp again. That's the only thing with versifying it. It's dangerous stamps. And I can't cope with... I can't cope with that. I don't mind with oxides because oxides you can just run under the tap and they just what it just washes off, but it doesn't with this. Right, then we'll give that a blast. We're almost done with the topper. So do make sure that the black is dry properly because we're going to flake water all over it now. I 
I know Janice it's terrible knowing when to just, just knowing when to stop you do have to stop yourself sometimes um, so you see I think I've done maybe one or two too many on there but we'll we'll see when I've uh, when I've finished it and just to make sure it's dry properly I'm gonna go out and just rub a little bit of kitchen roll over the top yeah that's perfect perfect and now we're going to flip water all over it which is my new favorite thing yeah so I'm using the from the flat tip brushes these are the ones that I tell you every week to get the flat tip ones I'm just going to squeeze some water out of there Oops, not that much water fell I'm just going to flick Julia claps her hands but I think she looks like a seal when she does that <laughs> So I'm flicking. <laughs> I hope you're not watching Julia. <laughs> She'll be texting me in a minute. <laughs> oh dear. And then you can do, you can just roll the kitchen roll over, but I like to hold it down and press because it absorbs a little bit more of the water and it does it a little bit quicker. And then I can look to see if I need any more, which I do. I need a bit more there. that's better so what happens is because the watercolor pens will still react with the water but not as much as I know it is a cheek <laughs> <You're right. laughs> oh that's perfect so the watercolor pens look will still react with the water but because I colored that image in first the water that I just flicked has not taken too much color away which is exactly what I wanted and they have done it Hiya darling, hiya Chook, Chook loves eh? She, I might like it if she smacks me, it depends where she smacks me. Yeah, so I had, this is why I coloured it in first, because had I coloured it in afterwards, uh, the ink would have still been too, too wet and it would have absorbed more of the water and I didn't want that. So that just gives you a little bit of an option if you want to do that. Let's just clean that bit of mess up. And then we'll pop that to one side. I'm just going to let that dry for a second. Look how fab it looks. You know, as soon as this is what I think this is what people are talking about when they keep saying about the layers and that. So we've got that lovely stencil coming, showing through. Look in the background. And I think it needed that. I think I think it's worth having those little uh, the A6 stencils of True. Is just for adding the extra layers onto your your cards, your toppers. We've got the splats going on. We've got the ink going on with the uh, crackle. You can still see the pink crackle. Let's see if I can tilt that so you can see it. Ah, you'll see it when I show you at the end. But you can still see the pink crackle showing through. So we'll just let that dry for one minute. Oh, no, I haven't finished yet. Sorry, everybody. La, la, la. Getting carried away. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of paste to this. So on the original one, look. Do, do, do. I need a bigger desk for doing this. So can you see I've got the little stars in there? So that is from the ombre, the blending paste, the ombre blending paste. And because I've only done a few, it should dry quick enough. So I'm going to do that now. Just to add a couple of little stars. And we'll go with... Uh, shall we go with the dark one? Fuchsia. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to go with the rose. I'm going to add a little bit of rose pink to this. There we go. Oh, bloody mess. <laughs> Julia will get me back, Chrissy. She knows I love her to bits. Right, here we go. So let's just decide where we want a few of these. Uh, let's come off the page. I'm just going to do a couple. I'm not doing loads. And I'm not worried about it. I'm absolutely not worried about it just showing you bits of the stars either. So like here, look, where you've only got a bit of it. It's just a bit of texture. Come down here. Remember as well, I don't know whether I've ever told you this. You can actually paint with the um, with the paste. I don't know whether I've ever told you that. 
you can water this down because it's a water based product I think that will do nicely that should dry in time put the lid on just pop that to one side put that there oh yeah that's fab look so we've added even even more texture to that now so you've got little bits that have scraped through some dodgy looking stars but you can actually see what they're meant to be so even more texture even more layers so i'm going to put that to one side and hope it's dry by the time we get to the end of the by the time we get to the end of the uh, project right here we go ben right have a drink of coffee phil see what everybody's saying at me i don't look i can only see two flowers are you okay for no there's not there's one two three four five six seven there's seven there darling don't panic look <laughs> i thought there were eight actually one two three four five six. no seven it is seven it is right just put my mat straight drink a coffee <laughs> put put the lids on my inks i'm going to use them now right so do, do remember when i showed you right at the top of the demo that i'd left this i'd left this one white on purpose and i regretted coloring this one in julia liked it but i i think i would have preferred for myself to have the white gap in between so i've left the white gap in between on this card but on here we're going to do some flicks of color so when I did the, uh, I can't remember which card it was, but I did a card from one of the samples uh, where I flicked colour on it and I'd used a little paintbrush, uh, but I didn't get a decent flick, if that makes sense, it wasn't right. Do, do, do. Put them out of the way, there's too much, too much mouse. And because I was going to do this on, on TV, the coffee is warm. Uh, because I was going to do this on TV, I've already stuck all the matting and layering together. So I'm going to show you how we can still. Um, I'm still going to. I want to flick some colour on this on this uh, white topper. So I'm just going to go around with my tape and cover up the bits where I don't want it. If you, if you, I mean, I'm, I just pinched this out of the shot. <laughs> but if you, uh, if you have to buy this, you could just go sheet of paper and tuck it underneath. It would do just the same thing. Remember to tuck it underneath. You wouldn't have to do this as you have done it. If I had not, if I'd have not stuck the top on it, I won't have to do it. And I will waste all this tape. Sorry, everybody, because it'll be covered in water and ink in a minute. Oh, talk, I've got my china mug here somewhere on my desk. I'll show you in a minute. That one, that one's, ooh, what's this one? Le Creux set, because it matches the, it matches my pans. <laughs> <laughs> but I have got, I'm going to show you in a minute, because it'll make you laugh. Let me see if I can find it. It'll be here somewhere. So when I, when I did when I redecorated my craft room at home, uh, people that know me know that I like my Laura Ashley stuff. So it's all it's all duck egg blue uh, and white, hence the white desk and everything. Uh, yeah, they will do, Stephanie. You're absolutely right. Let me see if I can find my cup. Oh, I don't know where I put it. I'll find it for next week. Uh, but I actually bought I actually bought a china mug that matches my wallpaper. But I've not, I've never used it. Right, so we've got all that secure now, and we're going to flick some colour. So I discovered 
that to get a nice watercolory flick it's actually better to do it with the fat tip you remember i showed you this one last week um the big the big widest one yeah so i'm just going to put some color on that i'm just going to pick some of the color up i'm going to make it quite wet come on squeeze that's it and then we'll just tap it and where's my pokey tool so then we'll just do So by doing it like this, look, I'm not getting massive, massive splats of ink. I'm just getting little spots. That'll do with that colour. And then we'll do some orange ones as well. So, oh, is somebody asking me about cardstock? I, I don't, I very rarely use watercolour card anymore. The card that I'm using on here is my premium pure white cardstock um it's because it's i think it's thick enough to take as long as you don't saturate it it's definitely thick enough to take this kind of thing and you've just seen the the topper that we did all that all that has been thrown onto the premium white cardstock as well yeah gavin if you haven't got any of my card in your shop you need to Right, so again we'll go in with the carved pumpkin. So I'm making it relatively wet. Look, you can see you can see how wet that is. I'm just patting it. It's already starting to dry. I'd never make a plasterer. <laughs> Now some somebody asked me about the lawnmower and in, in the Facebook group. Now it's obviously somebody who knows me because we bought a lawnmower oh, ages ago, and it's never been out of the box. And ironically, I've got the people coming to sort the garden <laughs> next week when we're not here. <laughs> oh. Right, so I'm just cleaning up that mess. I'm gonna, Sam, I'm going to put the lids on now. You'll be happy now. Yeah. I'll chuck that up there. And then we'll take the tape off. Where's the lid for that? Look at this. Shocking. But guess where it's going. I wouldn't normally waste that. Because normally I wouldn't have. Normally I would have done all the splatting before I stuck the layer on. So, pop that in the bin. Look, look at the difference it makes. Look at the difference that makes. So we've got some little, and I think because I did it with a water brush as opposed to doing it with a paint, and I've used it with oxides, it's going really watery. So it's giving me a really gentle, soft, soft splattery effect, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So instead of force drying that, I'm going to leave that to dry for a second, and we'll get onto the sentiments. I'll pop that out of the way. I'm running out of space. Oops, 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 oops. Right, so sentiments. Pretend I cleaned this. Where's the packet? There it is. Right, so on the original card, on the original card, look, we've got. This is why these. I love these stamps so much. Not a whole real gene look. <laughs> Half a real will go for. It is sacrilege. I could have used it six times. <laughs> uh, right, so this is this one of the original reasons when I designed these stamps was so that we've got a, a complete collection that you can mix and match. Yeah, 
and you can create your own sentiments so there's nowhere i mean i've done stamps for years now but i've never thought in my wildest dreams to create a stamp that says my smashing sister you just you just would you, well you just don't see that do you so the very fact that you can completely personalize this and make make these stamps work for everything and everybody just makes them really really good to me so we'll have um we'll have let me take that off change that where's my bit of card going scrap a card look it's a good way to use all your scraps of card as well so we'll have two two a wonderful no no let's not have wonderful let's have something else marvelous because power likes the word marvelous to a marvelous we could actually go on and on and on so we could have to a marvelous super special smashing super duper and then mom dad granddad whatever to a marvelous mom she's already had a birth oh i should have done sister then she could have had it for her birthday next week oh julia i could have done it for you julia do you want me to make this card for oh i can't i'm giving it away you'll have to have the original oh i'll put friend on just in case just in case we'll have friend to a marvelous friend how about that put them out of the way I've known Julia for donkey's years she's never had a card yet mind you I've known my sister all my life I think she's only had three <laughs> right so I've picked the stamps up before I put the anti-static on just so I don't get any powder on the stamp um, I'm using Versamark purely it's a new one like I said when I was on telly the other day purely because I can't find any of my six I've got six perfect mediums and I can't find any of them now I've just seen my sister said lol but who's she saying it to yeah I'll look at the messages after when I have my coffee so just remember just in case you didn't see the shows on Ho Chanda if you're using a new a new pad like I am be careful not to press too hard if I bring that close you can I don't know that you can see yeah so I've actually got quite a bit on there and sometimes too much of it will seep into your letters if you've got an older one that's probably better because you don't want it too damp and remember I'm not pressing on this I'm just rolling I'm just rubbing my finger over the top let's have a look perfect perfect and then another bit of paper and we'll do the we'll do the two colours like I did. Uh, actually, I'm not. I'm going to be really awkward. We're going to do individual colours. So two. So this oops. This is the fabulous fuchsia. To a marvelous. And then the other two words will be in the Mandarin burst. Bear with me. And the same as when I was on, I'll show you the colours again in a minute. So where I've got, if I've got any gaps, I'm going to go over the whole thing with the Mandarin burst. Um, <laughs> Christina, my birthday's on Friday. I told you before it's you up. <laughs> I'm gonna go over the whole thing with the Mandarin burst. Yeah, it's already dry, so none of the none of the flecks have, have gone in, but you can see well you can see how clear the words are in that and that's that's what's quite important. Obviously you need to be able to read it. I will tell you something I didn't do when I was on TV. It's actually quite nice to stamp them with your um, Versify Clairs and use clear embossing powder. 
you remember the card we did last week where I just showed you the sneaky peek with the two words tucked in the corner? That was the Chianti Versifying Claire with clear embossing powder over the top. Right, so I'm going to emboss this from underneath. Have we been an hour? Nearly. Oh, Chook, I did see your text, but I didn't see it till late last night. Thank you, darling. Right, so... I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to have to tilt it towards me and then I'll show you. Always do this from underneath. It's definitely, definitely smoother than doing it from above. It looks much more like enamel doing it this way. Then it does from doing it from above. Come on. that looks but I mean that's just I, I know I know this is me just showing off a bit but th that that is top quality embossing powder and stamps in combination together even the stitching look and the stitching is tiny 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 detail so I'm just going to cut that out with my big scissors that I haven't got so hang on a sec talk amongst yourselves They're only in my trolley. I, I have not got my jammers on today, everybody. I've got my shirt on, but I ain't got my jammers on. I've got some shorts on. I'm not naked from the waist down. I've got my shorts on. So I'm just going to cut this out by hand. Get a bit closer to that. Remember when you're cutting these out to just give it a little bit of time to cool down. Uh, otherwise you'll stick your finger in it and leave fingerprints. Easiest thing in the world this. Sorry, it's a bit boring to watch. This is why I said it's a good way to use up all your scraps. I did, I did start saving my scraps again because at one point I gave them all away because there were just too many. But I've started saving them again now. Uh, if there's anybody watching who has not joined our group yet, you can request it and I'll look at them all tonight. Uh, there's too many now for me to keep looking at every day. So I do I do try and check it in the evening when I'm not, uh, when I'm watching crap on the telly that I'm not interested in. <laughs> uh, right, so we've now created our own sentiment look to, to a marvellous friend. And I'm going to map that onto some black card. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, I've got my bloody glue. What's happening to me today? Oh, here it is. Oh, not that one. That one's bone dope. Not that one. That's a new one. Well, you wouldn't believe that, would you? I've got about seven pots of glue here. Shiny chair burns on his bum. <laughs> yes, Angie, absolutely. And I, uh, I've not got the card with me, but if you look at the look at the photo album on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page, I created an album before I left on Wednesday with all the samples in from these stamps. And Joanne has done a gorgeous, gorgeous one where she's done 
uh, I think it's True Just Days is on it and it's in black and cream or black and white and she's stamped onto black card with the Versa mark and embossed in white so the letters show through black but the panel is, is white that looks gorgeous you could do this I, I won't have time now I'll maybe do it be next week but you can you can obviously do it on all your coloured card stock as well I'm just getting these stuck together. It does make a difference when you've got that little bit of black. It just makes them pop a little bit more. There we go. There's still a few things I need to show you, so I hope you're not getting bored yet. Let I'm just gonna let that settle for a second. Just till the glue grabs. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> it's not a shiny chair, no, it's a pretend leather one. You sit well see so you've seen the colour of my desk. My desk is white, my chair is as well. Right, so I'm just going to cut these out by hand. That was easy enough. None of these will be straight, so whoever wins it, whoever wins this card, don't... Um, don't post a picture and show me the faults. <laughs> Chrissy, I like the tip you gave us on about dipping the edges in black ink. Yeah, I like that instead of dragging it. Yeah, it's a bit softer. And it stops it going everywhere. Right, so to A. Uh, I, I will just tell you all now that I know, obviously we sold out on Ochanda. Um, the extended delivery stock I think has now sold out as well, and I'm not sure what we've got. I'm not sure what we've got. Does your chair match your pans too? No, not really, Chook, because my pans are cream, and my chair's white. So there. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so let's show you this now that this is all that's dried now. Look, how fab does that look? Fab, isn't it? So let's just see if the paste is dried. Do, do, do. Not quite. I've just stuck my finger on it. That's not the way to do it. I'll just give it a. So the the ombre blending paste. It's not it's not wise to try and force dry them, uh, <laughs> Christina. But I'm just going to warm it through a bit. So I'll just give that another second. I'm just going to leave that as long as I possibly can. Right, so I'm going to show you how to do a glittery ring. <laughs> I hope my sister's stopped watching now. Right, so I've got all my flowers done. Because uh, obviously this is one of my demo kits that I would have been using on TV. So I've obviously I've chosen I've chosen the Mandarin cardstock, the Fuchsia cardstock and white. And I've done a combination of the Romantique flowers. I've done a combination of Romantique and a, and Elegance, yeah, just so that it um, just so that it breaks it breaks up the sh the shape of the flowers. So on the middle of all of them, look, it's got glitter on the middle. I'm going to show you how to do that. So mine are already done because they're dry, but I've saved a flower specifically just to show you. It's a different colour, so I can't even use it. But I will pop it in the, I'll pop it in with a card. Whoever wins this card, I'll just get the right colour pearls. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? 
So we'll use a mermaid, a mermaid song pearl for this. Tweezers, we've still got the tweezers on the website for you with the uh, whatever it is, the 10% off. So get them while we've got them. Right. So when you want to do a glittery ring, Charlotte's 16th this week, she could win the card. She's good to, she can't ask. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, Carol, I know what you're laughing at. Uh, so the easiest way to do this and to try and have it somewhat controlled is to put loads and loads of glue, way more than you need, look, for your pearl or your gem or whatever it is you're going to put in the middle. Just get the glitter. This is the Diamond Dazzle. Diamond Dazzle and a few dog hairs. Yeah. So way, 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 way more than you would need to put a gem or a pearl into your card, into your flower. Put your flower in and then just push down. Oops, if I can catch it. Come on, you little madam. So hopefully, can you see now we've got a bit of a... We've got a bit of a gluey ring going on around the pearl. <laughs> yeah. Remember, you, you do need to do this with a glue that a glue that dries clear. And then just put your glitter on, look. Yeah. And then when that dries and the the whiteness of the glue is gone transparent, all you're left with is a pretty glittery ring. How about that? <laughs> well, it's true, though. <laughs> Glittery rim. I'll let you choose. <laughs> I think it's the lesser of two evils. Anyway, that's the easiest way to get the um, to get that lovely glitter. You know, because you know, if you try and go in with your glue, if you try and go in with your glue afterwards, you just get too much, and it it gets a bit a bit over the top. That's just that's just enough. So this is not quite dry, but I'm sticking it on anyway. We'll do it with foam tape just to try and save a bit of time. So I'm doing this in reverse. I never do this because I never get the, I never come in far enough. But we'll try that now. Can you hear an ambulance or something? I hope they're all right, whoever it is. Here we go. So. I'm doing this in reverse, like I say, but I don't normally, and I would never recommend that. It's just so that I can get this on. Look how that pops on the orange cardstock, it's beautiful. Look at that. That brings all the colours together, I love that. <laughs> Look, I've got you all down to my level, that's just shocking. <laughs> And then let's just get some faux tape on there, so we'll start the assembly. Oh, it's dried. It's dried enough now. So remember, if you've not already followed her, you've got our Julia here, so you can search for Julia Watts Crafts. You've got me, obviously, which I know most you, know, most of you probably already have. Uh, if you've not joined the group, it's called Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours group. Then you've got the Honeypot Crafts Facebook page. You've got our Trudy. So if you're searching for Trudy, um, you need to search for Trudy Howard Sentimentally Yours. And then that's Trudy's page for you to, to follow. And then you keep you kept up to date then. Let me just see what I did before because I can't remember. Oh, yeah, we've got Central. So I'm just going to show you this before I start sticking the flowers on. Can you see the difference? So because I've left the layer at the back there look white. And I've spritzed that with the Distress Oxides to match. I think that looks a little bit softer than the one where I inked around the edges. So this one is more what I would do than that. I regretted doing it straight away but it was too late. And I didn't have enough time. So now the flowers are going on. As ever, glue on my non-stick 
Nah. I'm not going to put any more glitter on this because the glitter on the flowers is enough. Oh, that's the one that I'm sending away. That was lucky. I'm going to start here. Just hold it in place for a second let the glue grab. I can see all you, I can see the comments are going too quick for me to read. Let's have an orange one next to it. And then we'll have a bright one above that. further out actually. I'll put my sentiment under that one. And then a little white one down here. Aren't you glad I've done these flowers ahead of time, eh? just beautiful so who says you can't do grungy and make it look pretty because I think that's really quite pretty just wipe the glue on then we'll get the sentiments on so we've got to a marvelous friend so remember I showed you on the shows that uh, the one the one centimeter foam tape We'll just go straight on, you don't need to cut it or anything. Because that just drives me mad. Hang on, that's going to skew it. Nearly done, nearly done. Two. So on the, on the other card, I'll put it at the side so you can see what I'm doing. So on the other card, I did the alternating yeah, colours. I'm going to do the same with this one as well, though. However, before you go, I will just bring a couple more of my samples in. Just so you can see how the embossing powders look close up when you do the two-tone. So this is why it needs the black, look. So the black just makes the sentiment pop, stand out. To a marvelous hanging over the edge, look. Friend. And then we're just going to finish off. Didn't do it on the first one. And again, uh, didn't do it on the first one. And again, I wished I had it done, but I ran out of time. So I am going to do it for this card. So whoever wins this one is going to get the finished article. So I've, this instead, normally you see, I would go for both leaves together. Because um, you know I like my delicate fronds and I love the lush leaves. But this card, because of the shape of the petals of the sunflower look, can you see underneath? The lush leaves. So if you're going, if you're going for the sunflower stamp, if you haven't already got it, you really need to because uh, this is true. It is released from January, and I know we're down to the we're down to the like uh, dregs of the stock that's left. But this, the shape of the pet, uh, the leaf, the the yeah, shape of the leaf is almost the same as the shape of the petal, so it matches quite nicely. I'm shaping them up, and I'll probably make a couple of them a bit shorter. Because that's too long still. Oops. I'll just shape that up. And then we'll tuck them in. And I just saw out the corner of my eye. My sister said I suppose it's not bad or something like that. Yeah, I'll be checking what that says later. Phil, that says, that's if we get the card. <laughs> of course, it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, you just need to remind me because I'm, I'm terrible memory. 
Right, so I'm just going to dump that in there and tuck it underneath. Get rid of that glue. Uh, we'll do the same there. That's what I mean about the white. The white space actually tones the whole card down, don't you think? I could do with another leaf, but I ain't got time to go and cut one now. Put that one there. And then last one. Round here. And then I'm just going to finish off. Do, do, do. And I know I keep banging on about these glittery pens from Sakura. Bye, Wendy. But we are going to go in and just add a little bit of a glittery finish with the pen. Thought I had a little scrap piece of card. Hang on. Just get it going. So I'm just going over the orange part of the middle of the flowers with the glittery pen. And there we have it. So how about that in an hour and 15, 16 minutes. So number one on the left. This is the one I did originally, and this is the one that we've just made in this hour. So, this is what I was talking about, white space. But for me personally, I love the white space. I think the white space just makes the colours pop a little bit more, and it tones it down. It almost makes it a little bit prettier. Um, so, uh, less grungy, but just pretty with a touch of grunginess, yeah? Look at the stars. I love the stars. So, that little bit of texture... From the blending paste, just add something to it as well, another layer. So it's still pretty, still grungy. Um, can you see the glittery on that? Can you see that? If I, I see if I can go a bit closer. I don't know whether you can see. I can't on my screen, but the the circles in the middle of the um, sunflowers. That's what I've just glittered with the pens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Will we get an angle? No, maybe. Hopefully you can see it. I can't on my screen, but I can in front of me. So there you go. That's uh, Saturday Crafty Day with Phil. Um, finished. Well, we'll choose a winner for this card over the next few days. You know what I'm like from all the comments. So good luck, everybody. Thank you for spending an hour and 20 minutes almost of your Saturday with me. Uh, we'll do this again next Saturday. Um, I do know the girls have asked me to mention if you've ordered from the website over the last three or four days be patient with them because um, I did too good a job and <laughs> and they've got loads of orders to try and get through uh, so much so that I'm actually going in to pack orders so I might have done one of the parcels that you get so hopefully you enjoyed that and I've shown you something a little bit different again Please, 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 if you haven't got them and you like them, you need to be thinking about Trudy's flower stamps. You definitely need to be thinking about the ticker tape um, sentiments because we're almost all gone. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Thank you. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got to put this here just to remind everybody of all the different pages. Just means that if you're watching this later on and you're not watching it live, you can see everything and where to follow us and what have you all in one place. So I'll leave it there for a second. Um, thank you again, everybody. Stay safe. Uh, remember to follow Trudy on her Facebook page. I know she's uh, going to be more interactive with you on a Tuesday. So Tuesday, well, Tuesday with Trudy uh, will hopefully be happening every time she's she's uh, well enough. Uh, thank you very much. I shall see you all next Saturday. Uh, take care. Stay safe, and good luck to everybody. I'll draw the winner in the next few days. 
thanks everybody bye